Welcome. Today is Thursday in the 30th week of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Ron. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. During this Mass, we'll be using the votive Mass in time of pandemic, recognizing that we need to continue to pray because this pandemic is uh, becoming quite uh, virulent again, and we have to be extra careful, as well as praying for a vaccine and effective treatment for those who are ill. So we remember all of those intentions during this Mass today. We ask the Lord now to grant us forgiveness for all our failings as we seek His mercy. Lord Jesus, you are gentle and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You bring pardon and peace to sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress, look with compassion on the afflicted, grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to health care workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God that you may be able to resist on the evil day and, having done everything, to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed in righteousness, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me, that speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must.
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed Blessed be be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, (laughs) my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed Blessed be be the Lord, Lord, my my rock. rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-string lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed Blessed be be the Lord, Lord, my my rock. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with With your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Glory to you, you, O O Lord. Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you, kill, you, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how many times I yearn to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, You will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Have you ever talked to yourself? I know I do at times. Sometimes it's out loud. Many, most of the time it's in my head. But when you have those conversations, what are they like? Many times we can think of what we're, our thoughts are, and this conversation is for the good. It's, how can I be good to my wife? Or how can I be good to my neighbor? How can I do what the Lord asked me to do today? And then there's those other times when we think about things that, aren't, that take us away from God that cause us to maybe verbally harm uh, family members or friends or whatever. And that battle that goes on inside our heads is difficult at times to discern where is this coming from. But we know that the good thoughts and the things that push us towards doing God's will come from the proddings of the Holy Spirit. That's easy to discern. But then the other thoughts, they may have a perception of being good but they really aren't because of the intent or the final outcome or whatever. And those are the things that we are to guard against. And in our first reading today, we hear St. Paul talk about 
putting on the armor of faith, using faith as an armor to shield us against the evil that's in our presence, to shield us against what the devil is trying to do in our lives, to influence us. And that is something I think we really need to take to heart, especially in this day and age. There's so much evil in the world, people going against each other, family members, friends, countries, whatever you want. But that evil is pre prevalent, and we need to put on the armor of faith. Faith that God is there for us. Faith that God has sent the Holy Spirit to be with us, to guide us. To hopefully listen to that voice that tells us to do the right thing. To really try and do the will of God the Father. To help us to believe that he is always there with us. So maybe at those times where we're trying to discern what we ought to be doing, maybe we can say a little prayer, and that can be, I believe, but help my unbelief. We are called to love our neighbors as ourselves, and so we call to mind not only our needs, but the needs of our neighbors near and far. For the church, that we may always reach out to those in need with material and spiritual aid and extend God's grace to every corner of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all ordained priests, that our prayers and support may give them sustenance as they grow in their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For refugees, widows, and orphans, and all who suffer with loss and uncertainty, that they may be treated with love and compassion so that they may find peace and serenity in their difficult circumstances. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered here today, that we may meet the challenge of accepting all people as neighbors, especially those who look, speak, or act differently than we do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Brendan Mills, Tammy Wilson, Monica Looker, Gabby Short, Carol McKee, Alice, Dur Alice Dernan Cassidy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Juanita Maurice, Dr. Tom Curtin, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of all, grant us your grace so that we may pass along your love and compassion to all those in need. Hear the prayers we make here today and the prayers of all your people as we pray in the name of Jesus who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And let us pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your, at your hands. hands. 
for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for our, our good, good and the good, good of, all of all his holy, holy church. church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up, up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, yes. Savior, Savior of the world, world for, for by your cross and resurrection, and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, St. John Eudes, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth 
with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admission to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. United in prayer, we call upon our Father as Jesus our brother taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give yes, us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering to God. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, 
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.